Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on using the recode into same variables feature in SPSS. So I have a data set here, a fictitious data. It has four variables, an ID, number, an independent variable, two levels, control and CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy, and then a pretest and a post-test. I happen to know the range of the post-test data has a low of 25 and a high of 45. And say that after the test is complete and it's scored uh, that we realize through some sort of error or some other way of interpreting the instrument that we need to recode this variable uh, on the high and low ends. So go to transform, recode into same variables, go to post-test, and then move post-test over to numeric variables, then select old and new values. And this is the dialog that comes up. So you have a few possibilities. Uh, you can specify an exact value and change it to another exact value. For example, we could take the 25 and make that into a 26 and then add it. We could also uh, look at system missing or system or user missing, and we could also look at a range, right? So a range could be uh, 25 through 27 gets recoded into 28. We could add that. And this is how it comes up in the old to new dialog. Another feature is looking at the lowest value through a value. So we could say if we wanted 25 to say 28, we would just have to put 28 here because we know the lowest value here is 25. And similarly, there is a range value through the highest. So if we wanted 40 to 45, we could just put 40 here, and we know it would capture 40 through the highest value, which is 45. So let me test this out using the criteria I stated before, which was we want to change some of the low and high values. So let's say that we do want the lowest value through, uh, let's say, um, 30. So that's 25 to 30, and we want that value to equal 31. So we add that. So the lowest through 30 is now changed into 31. And then on the high end, let's take 40 through the highest value, which is 45, and change that to 39. So now 40 through 45 will become 39. So then we select continue. Now you also have this if statement available where you can uh, include other rules. Uh, so you could say if, this essentially says if another condition is satisfied that will trigger the recode uh, and you can set a wide range of uh, conditions for that if statement. Uh, but otherwise, we'll go right to uh, clicking OK. And it executes the recode. And as you can see, it changes it in the same variable. So all these, uh, well, many of these 39s and 31s uh, were recoded from the other values that we specified. The 25 through 30 to the 31 and the 40 through 45 for the 39. I would recommend keeping a backup of the data set when using recode the same variable, uh, especially if you're doing a lot of recoding. And of course, the other option I mentioned before, which is covered in another video, is you could recode into a different variable, which will uh, supply you with a whole new variable in the next column that has all the data recoded so you can actually look at both at the same time and see what the changes look like in comparison. So for example, if we went with post-test again, so what we could do here is move post-test over and we'll have to name the new variable because this is recoding in different variables. So let's just say we name it post one and we label it post one and then select all the new values 
and we'll use the range lowest through value. So just for the purposes of demonstrating, let's use uh, 32 here and create a value, a new value of 33 and add that. And then for the value through highest, let's use 38 and then make that new value 37. Now notice here you can also, uh, we, we're not doing this in this case, but you can also change the output variables to strings. But that's not what we want to do here. So I've reset this back, so we have lowest through 32, goes into 33, changes into 33, and then 37 through the highest changes to 38. And we'll click continue. And again, you have the same option here if you want a if statement in here. We want to select change and click OK. You can see it executes the code. Lowest through 32 equals 33 and 37 through highest equals 38. And you can see how it populated this on in, in the new variable. And you notice there's nothing in the spaces for the values that did not fit into the ranges we specified. Right, it just recodes the values that we specified. So if we want to include all the values, we'll go back to recoding the different variables, and we'll add some code here to old and new values. So this is what we have, and then we can put all other values here. And let's just say all our values would be equal to 35. So else equals 35, uh, continue, and it's already changed here, so we don't have to, well, we can't click change, and then click OK. And we can see that the other value is now equal 35. So the advantage of using the uh, recode into different variables option as opposed to same is that it's easier to compare the data and of course it's easier than to uh, fix any mistakes because you have a whole new variable that was created. But if you have a backup of your data set, which I would recommend uh, anyway, then recoding the same variables is a fast, efficient option. If you know what recode you need to make and you know you're certain of it and you have a backup, uh, you can simply go in, recode in the same variables, specify the parameters and it will change the actual variable that you want and not create a new one. I hope you found this video on using the recode into same variables feature in SPSS to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.